After the ousting of President Omar el-Bashir in April, the civilians and the military in Sudan are yet to agree on a power transition to civilian rule. Civilians have been protesting in Khartoum and beyond. But negotiations are deadlocked. Igad says the biggest challenge is how to encourage the parties to return to the negotiating table. The Sudanese stakeholders must be called upon to refrain from statements and actions that will escalate tension and spoil conditions necessary for the resumption of talks. The killing of dozens of protesters in June widened the rift between the military and civilians. International partners are also asking the African Union to speed up its decision to set up an investigation into the killing of protesters in Khartoum. The European Union intends to resume normal business, diplomatic and otherwise, with Sudan when this transition begins to resemble something that, is, that meets all the interests that are now involved in the negotiations in Sudan. The United Nations insists that all countries and parties that want to assist Sudan must do so in a concerted effort under the African Union initiative. Partners may have their preferences, but surely our role must be to support the Sudanese people to build trust and determine their fate without undue influence or interference. The African Union has suspended Sudan from its activities until it moves to democratic rule. Egypt is expected to hold another meeting on Thursday in Addis Ababa to engage member states and international partners further on how a fast solution can be achieved in Sudan. Colette Anjoy, SABC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.